Hi, I'm Molly. Hi, I'm Kira. And today we're going to do a willow workshop at Newborough Forest. And we're doing this to show you that there is natural alternatives to using the store-bought products. So we're just about to go through the equipment. Uh, first of all, the most important thing you need is willow. We're using buff willow today. Um, it has been soaked and left to mellow in this towel just to make sure it stays hydrated and remains flexible. Um, then next we have secateurs here, they have locks on them so you can stay safe when not using them. These are just used to trim the willow and to whatever size or shape you need. And then we have two bases here, one is bigger than the other just to see which size fits the willow best. You can just make this at home, get any old piece of wood and a drill and however many holes you want and then you're good. And then next we have water spray, which is just to spray the willow with when it starts getting dry and prevents it from bending and snapping. And then lastly, we have hand sanitizer, of course, because in these troubling times it's best to stay safe. Right, so on to the first step. What we're doing here is we're placing the willow in each of these little holes in the base. So you can see here, there's two examples and you want the thicker end in the hole and the top end, which is thinner, is the tip. The bottom end is the butt and you can probably see here there is a natural curve to the willow and you want the curve to go towards the centre of the circle and again you can should be able to see it here a little concave and what i'm going to do now is i'm going to just cut a very small bit off the end probably not much probably about that much or so and then get ready to place it in the hole. There we go. And it should go in nicely like this and we'll make sure it curves towards the centre. And there we go. So now I've done that, I've just placed all these pieces of willow in. Uh, there are nine pieces here and you should be able to see here just the natural curve, they're all heading towards the centre. If I pull them together, it should become very clear just the basic shape of what feeder should look like. Um, that's that. And moving on to the next step. Now so we're going to do the next stage, which is the weaving part. So if you just want to come closer. So the first step is really important because this is the, the starting point. So you want to weave it in between three. So you can see this one and you want a long bit to come all the way out this is natural because at the end you do all the cutting and this will be cut down to about there but at the start you need it out so it prov provides a support so it's gone behind one and it's coming this way so right now we need to do just in and out like a snake so you're going like that be careful of the the willow as it is quite if it gets you in the face it just it's a bit sharp but you should be fine so you just got to do the weaving process now if your willow is a bit tough you can wet it with the water spray just normal water is fine um but yeah this is not too bad at the moment and you just this whole process is we it going in and out weaving thin end and this is called the tip so when you get to roughly about this point it's not exactly accurate like there's not like oh when you get to 10 centimeters when you've got about that much left you want to grab your next piece of willow but you need to make sure the tip end is put next to the tip end so if you're using the butt end you'd use the butt end as well but because this is the tip end we're going to go with that so you thread it through the last point the other willow is in so as you can see i'm just going to do that and that will stick out as well and you will chop that down at the end but you don't need to worry about that at the moment so you just grab both pieces and then you start the weaving process again now with two pieces it can just be a bit trickier until you get it all through but you will get it all through just takes a bit of practice
So when you're happy with this weave here and you've got as much there as you want, um, you can move on to the next step, which requires two pieces of willow. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to thread this in like we have with the rest and establish the first weave so we know that it's secure. And then what you'll do from there is before you bring it round, you twist your two pieces around each piece of willow. Like so. And to get the pattern that we want, you can create a steady gradient. So there's a small incline in the pattern as it twists around the wheat to feeder. You can have it as tight or as loose as you want. It's a matter of personal preference and how you want it to look. Or for that matter, as steep or steady as you like. This should do a pretty good job of bringing all the base pieces of willow together so that they're in the centre. It does help just to turn the base around as you're doing it, it makes it a lot easier. So we've finished that step, uh, you can see the willow goes all the way around, alternating in and out. And now to move on to the next step, we'll just gab, we'll twist this once more and we'll gather all the pieces together. And as you can see, the feeder is wet at the minute, we did just spray this just to make sure it was still flexible. And we're going to get another piece of willow and place the butt end against the rest. Now we're not attaching it or anything, it's as simple as just placing it against it. Now we're going to get one of these pieces, one of these offshoots, and just bring it around and twist it around all the pieces of willow. It can be as high or as low as you like, it's, it's a matter of preference. And so this is just going to so there's a way of securing it and just keeping it all together. And so when you're ready and you've looped around as much as you wanted, what you can do is pull this out. If you've little tight there we go it might take a little tugging there we go so now we have a small gap that's just been left here by that piece of willow and what you can do is just thread through there just makes it easier to secure it now i've just threaded the willow through that little gap and you can see we have a bit of excess here so we're just going to tidy it up and just snip that off there we go and that's how it should look. Then, before we pull this out, uh, you can see it's looking a little bit messy with all these bits here and there. Uh, we can just chop these and tidy it up a little, make it look a little more appealing. The thing is, we don't want to cut them too short because then it will lose the security and it may unravel. pieces here and there and if you're not totally happy with this bit you can always trim a little bit more after you've taken it out if you can't quite get to them all
next we're just going to trim this top bit as well again you can do this if you want uh, you can keep it as long or as short as you like it's a matter of personal preference and how you want your feeder to look i have two shorter pieces of willow here so i'm probably just gonna trim to a similar length So they're more or less the same. And that's that. So now that we've literally just pulled it off the template, we've done nothing else, and this is what the product should be, apart from this single willow that I've just added. So if we, you just want to look closer, I've literally just threaded it. It's completely secure down the side of one of them. And this is because this is for the handle. So now, like, do I, if you can get it like opposite it, if you can't, that's not a problem. You want to thread this through. So, it can be a bit tough, but you do need to just pull it through until you've got the desired handle size that you want. So it's like that's pretty good and that's completely sturdy. So now with this you just chop the remaining bit off. Just snip that little bit off, we've just got the handle there. Really secure. Just to make it look a bit nicer, we're gonna get another piece of willow and just twirl around it. Just a simple design. But this willow dries out really quickly. So what we wanna do is wet it. Um, quite a bit because if you don't this, these have a tendency to snap halfway around the spiral so once you've done that really really well you want to twist it to try and break it so it's more durable I don't, I don't know if you heard that but it's just slight twisting will crack it and when you're doing the whole of it it's likely not to break That's good. Okay, so the tip pen, which is the smallest end if you forgot, you want to thread this through where the butt was. Thread it quite a bit, just because the actual bottom of the tip is really, really uh, fragile. So, simple design, just start threading it through. Just like that, simple spiral. Just like that, if you can see. My willow has started to actually snap, but it doesn't matter because it stayed together. So if you just simple design like that, and then you want to thread this through but as you can see that's just chop that make it easier threading so I've just simply threaded it through and pushed the end of it back through and voila we're done so now you can just find any tree with any like branch and just, just hold like that place a fat ball in it and voila you've got your natural willow bird feeder so thanks for joining us